upon a time, there lived a king. Like other kings, he had a really neat castle to live in and a lovely little kingdom to rule. But unlike other kings, this king spent most of his time in the bathtub. Is it King Arthur? What? What? Henry VIII? What? I don't know. Perhaps. No, it's King George, a cucumber king who decides the most important person in the world is, well, himself. Are you the only one you think about? What do you think? That I shouldn't have whatever I want? Well... Even though his country is at war, King George spends his time in the bathtub. It's time for that. I'm gonna go take a bath. Lewis, draw a bath! Why? Because I love my duck. Uh, sir, if I could have a minute... Love my duck. There are some things we must discuss. I love my duck. See, there's a war and well, we're in it. Love my duck. Oh, I don't mean to make a fuss. Then don't. Yes, it's King George and the Ducky, another hilarious VeggieTales adventure from the artists at Big Idea, filled with action. All right, follow me and try to act inconspicuous. Excitement. The pie wall has grown ferocious. And amazing audiovisual technology. It's a flannel graph to illustrate. Ooh. You'll laugh along with Bob the Tomato, Larry the Cucumber, and the whole VeggieTales gang as they learn that being selfish hurts the people around us. So whether you are a king or just a kid, God wants us all to think of others first. Don't miss the fun in King George and the Ducky. Squash can make you smile If you like to waltz with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle Have we got a show for you Celery, gotta be vegetables. Lima beans, collard greens, peachy keen vegetables. Cauliflower, sweet and sour, half an hour vegetables. There's never ever 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 been a show like vegetables. There's never ever 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 been a show like vegetables. It's time for vegetables. Thank mm -hmm. you.
had me worried there for a while, buddy. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, can I get you anything? Uh, a push-up? Waffle cone? Cup full of sprinkles? No, I don't need anything. You, uh, wanna talk about it? Does that thing work? Mm-hmm. G7. Huh? G7. Press G7. It all started a while back when I was singing this song. Well, well I don't know. It just kind of got messed up. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Sabu. A boy. A song about a little boy and his taboos. A song about a little boy and his three taboos. The little boy who had a sick taboo, a sad taboo, and a mute taboo. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Ooh. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Sing it with me. Boy is riding with Sabu. Boy is riding with Sabu. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A chumumu, 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 Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can see boy in three Sabu. Can see boy in three Sabu. That Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahumumu, 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 Hippo seen by Mute Sabu. Hippo seen by Mute Sabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mute Sabu is waving and grunting. Mm -hmm. in that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Sebu. No, wait, that's a water buffalo. No more song about Sebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and leaving. Bye bye, moo, bye bye, moo, 
up a song. It's not the end of the world. I'll be with you in a minute, folks. What you need is a little something to cheer you up. And, and I've got just the thing. There. That ought to do it. What'll it be, mister? It's time? It's time? Did he just say it's time? We didn't have a lot of fun in the desert. We didn't have a lot of fun in the sand. But saddle up your cow and go behind us now. Because we're going to the promised land. For years I've eaten nothing but manna. A dish that is filling but bland. But now we're on our way. Oh, have a taste and play. Because we're going to the promised land. The dining was Lucy with Moses, but we'll be feasting with Josh in command. I'd like a taco, please, and some pinos and cheese. Because we're going to the promised land. And in the promised land, it's gonna be so grand. We'll have our fill from the grill as much as we can stand. Oh, 
then you'll find us here at the Desert Chocolate Factory. for the time I did have with my Philly thong. Bye, Philly thong. I saw you. It has been any trouble to do it Okay, wrong song. Bad timing. Uh, uh, these will be great. You'll see. Oh, this one is so funny. <laughs> You're big. I'm little. Oh, okay, buddy. Hang on. Daddy's coming. Oh, that's a great idea. You go ahead and keep walking. Keep walking. But you won't knock down our wall. Keep walking. But she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see. Your brains are very small to think walking. We'll be knocking down our wall. You silly little pickle. You silly little peas! You think that walking around will bring this city to its knees? The awesome powers of this wall we've clearly demonstrated! Ah! But out here in the hot, hot sun, perhaps you're dehydrated? Ah, pity them, Philippe! Ah, may we, oui, Jean-Claude, may we! Oui. Won't you join me in my irritating little song? It would be an honor. Keep walking, but you won't knock down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see, your brains are very small to see walking. We'll be knocking down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but you won't knock down our wall. Keep walking, <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. It's plain to see, your brains are very small to see walking. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. 
glue. We got that too. A 20 gallon wok. They're in stock. And if you need refrigerators to keep extra mashed potatoes or a giant air compressor to blow food pipes off your dresser or a dehydrated strudel or a nose ring for your poodle or a five by ten of tuna and some flippers to go scuba. Scuba, 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 scooby dooby dooba. Here we go, scuba. Come on. If you need a rubber hose, we got those. A rubber deck and tree. We got three. A wrap around deck. Got a check. But if you need a window scraper and a gross of toilet paper or a ratchet set in pliers and surround sound amplifiers and a solar turkey chopper or a padded over popper, flannel shirts for looking grungy and some rope for going bungee. Bungee, 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 bungee. Here we go, bungee. Come on. Me up! Bungee! 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 Wungee! Woogie! Wiggy! Wiggy! Come on! <laughs> I hope those guys didn't get hurt falling on their head like that. Do you think they got hurt? Oh, gee, buddy. I, I don't know. They were wearing their helmets. Yeah. They were wearing their helmets. That's good. Look. Hal, maybe it's none of my business, but why are you so down? Y you want to tell me what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Perhaps this will clear things up. No! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Just a moment, wait, stop talking! Excuse me, I, I have an announcement. Ahem. Because of the high standards we on this show strive to adhere to, and as a result of the disastrous outcome of the previous silly song, management has decided to review compositions from other performers for this segment. Several songs were screened, and we chose one based on the applicant's sense of artistry and all-around propriety. Thank you. So what are you saying? I'm saying Silly Songs is cancelled until further notice. Oh yeah? Well then how am I supposed to get out of this bear trap? I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt. The part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely
thought you were going to sing about growing up in Connecticut. This has been Love Songs with Mr. Lunt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lunt say... I grew up in New Jersey. You don't mean... Yes, it's my fault. All my fault. I'm the one to blame. That's despicable. I'd feel that way too if somebody took my songs away. It's just that I... Well, surely you can understand my position. I was simply acting in the public's best interest. We do have standards to uphold, you know. Yes, I see. Well, but then I got these. Ahem. We, the undersigned, believe that Archibald Asparagus should forgive and forget the Song of the Cebu incident and return Silly Songs with Larry to regular veggie programming, signed 167,512 adoring fans, including, but not limited to, the entire population of Duluth, Minnesota, and even someone in Moose Lake. Moose Lake? Yes! Moose Lake. Wow, Moose Lake. The people have spoken. I'm afraid I have no other choice but to hereby decree that Silly Songs is henceforth reinstated, effective immediately, which is what I suppose henceforth means. But no matter, go on, sing with all the silliness you can muster. Let the world know, yay! to its farthest reaches, including, but not limited to, Moose Lake, that this is not the end of silliness. No, quite the contrary. Silliness has just begun. But try not to be too silly. Please? Go, his memories but faint was not admired did not inspire like president or saint but people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure they knew for sure would it come from other pets this is a song for your poor big penguin he's got a fever and a toes are blue but if I sing to your poor sick penguin, he will feel better in a day or two. You lay, 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 He's gone a little loopy in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc. He's up and kicking. This is a song for your pregnant kitty. She's looking nauseous and a weak pap too. But if I sing to your pregnant kitty, she will feel better in a day or two.
Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day When a nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp Then said, no way, Jose To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the kitty, doc She's feeling great, six kittens, named one after you Curious ways of the yodeling 